For its size, it's pretty powerful. This is the Byte 3 from Azul. Now we've looked at some of their stuff before, like their mini PC sticks and some of their mini PCs. Uh, this one is an interesting product because it's for someone who wants to be able to like stream media and do that sort of thing, but they want to do a little bit more than that. Because if you're buying this only to stream media at 1080p, there's a myriad of cheaper devices, even some here on you know Azul's website, if you look over here, uh, some of these mini PC sticks will be just fine for you. But if you want to do 4K, and you know you also want to maybe like run some file server like basic file server uh, for like documents and that sort of thing hook up some external storage uh, or if you want more options for connectivity uh, you know if you need to be able to hook up uh, webcams and use this as like a video conferencing thing you've got enough horsepower to do that because you have the 64 uh, bit you got the apollo lake quad core uh, and that starts off at 1.1 but it'll turbo all the way up to 2.2 uh, with this unit, you have four gigabytes of RAM, but you can expand it up to eight gigabytes. So let's talk about what you might be able to do with this, and then we'll talk about the options. So out of the box, the four gigabyte option is probably going to be the preferred method for most of you guys because it's a couple hundred bucks, uh, and you get you know 32 gigabytes of internal storage. Once you get Windows 10 on there, however, it cuts it in half. Um, but you're also getting Windows 10 with this package. So that's part of the price as well. Now, four gigabytes of RAM is enough for a system like this typically, um, and Windows feels pretty snappy. This is not gonna be uh, a gaming powerhouse or anything like that. You can stream games from your other computers just fine. So if you wanna install Steam and use this as like a thin client or whatever for Steam, uh, or just you know stream games from the other room, that's totally fine. You've got 2.4 gigahertz and five gigahertz wireless here. Um, the five gigahertz is what I'm gonna recommend for most streaming, but really if you wanna get like the best speed, you're gonna to need to plug this in because it was, um, in my opinion, slightly sluggish over Wi-Fi uh, file transfers and that sort of thing. If you are able to connect to a, you know, five gigahertz, uh, you know, router, you should be able to get 70 to 100 uh, megabits per second. A lot of that's not really gonna involve this, it's gonna involve the other equipment in your house. And we have a Ubiquiti uh, solution here at the office, so it ran pretty good. Wired is the way to go for gaming. Let's take a tour of the ports and then I'm gonna take this thing apart and show you what's going on under the hood. So on the back, we have a couple different display options. We've got VGA. We also have an HDMI port and that will support 4K. We have a couple of USB 3 ports on the back, plus the gigabit ethernet. You got your Kensington lock and then an audio output on the back. Now, if you're gonna be running signage and that sort of thing, uh, you can actually hook this up to multiple monitors and uh, you can actually assign different monitors to do different things or show different words and that sort of thing. Uh, it will work that way. But over beside the antenna there, that is USB 3.1 Type-C, 10 gigabits per second. You can do a lot with that thing if you wanted to run a hub, maybe plug up some high-speed storage, and then you know expand the storage of this thing using it as like a little file server or something. That's totally doable. If you wanted to run like a security camera using this as the heart, and then you know a camera plugged into that plus a few other ca cameras, that would work just fine. You know, plugging it up to that one port right there with a hub. Uh, that would work. Over on the other side, we have um, another USB 3. We have a USB 2 beside that. And then we have our SD card slot. It's a full-size SD card slot. Now, I actually like that there's a USB 2 port because some of the older devices and even like our controller, it does like USB 2 a little bit better than USB 3 uh, when it comes to wireless. Um, I know some older webcams prefer USB 2 as well. So the fact that there's one there actually is okay with me. Now let's take this thing apart. And uh, this is what makes me really like this Azul product. First off guys, this thing is built like a tank. I have not seen a mini PC or not seen many, many PCs that are this uh, tough and this well built. Underneath the hood there, there's an M.2 slot. So you guys can install some extra storage in there if you wanted to, if the 32 gigabytes is not enough for you, just go ahead and throw an M.2 in there. And there's also SATA with SATA power. So you guys could put a full 2.5 inch drive. It'll fit in there. There's, a, there's enough extra space to put all of that in here. And since this is fanless, it's going to be silent and you have the extra room under the hood um, to add the extra storage. So if you don't wanna have to you know, put everything on a NAS, you can put a one to two uh, terabyte, 2.5 um, inch drive in here and just put all your media local. I mean, if you wanted to, it's up to you. Also, if you wanted to have some more local storage for like webcam stuff, um, or you know, you know surveillance stuff, that'd be totally fine. Now above and beyond that, we do have Bluetooth. Uh, it's Bluetooth 4, so you can use this to stream to your devices or to connect you know, controllers, mice, keyboards, whatever. And it comes with uh, an infrared remote in the box. It doesn't really work too well in the operating system, but once you get into your media, you know, like Netflix, Hulu, XBMC, whatever you're gonna install on this, that's going to be where you're gonna wanna use that and it works just fine for that. Now the dimensions on this are 5.6 by four inches by 1.5 inches. A little bigger than some out there, but it's still tiny. I mean, it's still really, really tiny. Now the last thing I wanna mention is the operating system. So we've got Windows 10 on here. Uh, and with the four gigabyte model, 
yeah, it works pretty well, but I like eight gigabytes better for that. I don't like how much the price increases when you go up to eight gigabytes of memory. I feel like it's a bit too much. Um, so I'm gonna stick with the four and actually recommend that you look at their Ubuntu system because uh, you can get it with Ubuntu or you can get it with Windows 10 Pro. And if you get it with Ubuntu, you're actually gonna have a bit more overhead because Ubuntu doesn't eat up as many resources as uh, Windows 10. Uh, a lot of like, you know, webcam applications, surveillance applications, uh, as a file server, it'd be better probably to use Ubuntu. Uh, the only benefit I can really see to using Windows is the Netflix app in the Windows Store will allow 5.1 surround sound. So if you're gonna be hooking up surround sound or something like that, I don't think you're really gonna do that with this unit. It's not really made for it. I don't see much of a reason to use uh, Windows on this device unless you're really hooked on a few Windows programs. But Steam is even gonna stream your Windows exclusive programs will stream straight to your Linux right here. Um, now, as far as gaming on this device goes, well, it's going to be great for DOSBox, uh, playing some old school games, LucasArts games, and that sort of thing. It's got the Intel uh, HD 500 graphics chip, so it's not very powerful. Um, and even some of the indie games struggle on this, so I would not recommend installing many locally. We played Crawl uh, with our controllers here, you know, just hanging out playing uh, games, and that worked well. But playing anything that, you know, requires any kind of graphics power is not going to be the best locally. So it's not a gaming machine at all. Uh, other than old school games and some indie games. All right, so what I want to know, guys, is which OS would you prefer on this? Windows 10 or would you prefer Ubuntu? Guys, there's way more that you can do with this than I just mentioned, but I'm curious because everyone out there, I'm sure, has their own idea of what they want to do with something like this. So let me know in the comments what you would do and uh, let us know what you think of the Byte 3 from Azul. Uh, thanks for sending it over, Azul. Guys, you, they're, they're a really awesome company and they make very solid, well-built stuff. So if it comes down to build quality, there really isn't much that I can think of that's better in this size or price range. Go ahead and check them out. The uh, link is in the top of the description if you want to see the uh, current prices. Who knows? They might be on sale for the holidays. So go ahead and click on the link to get the uh, latest prices. And I'll see you guys in the comments. Be sure to grab a t-shirt. A few more days left on the uh, shirt of the month as well. See you guys later. And which OS? OS? Which OS would you prefer? <laughs>